All right, folks, welcome to another Facebook response video where I go to the facebook.com slash geekdom101. I pose a question and I get your community response. Today we're talking about Frost and Frieza. Now, without going into heavy spoilers, but, well, I mean, there is going to be a spoiler. I'm not going to even BS you on that one for Dragon Ball Super Episode 107 and 108 because they both are about Frieza and Frost. And the big spoiler, and you've been warned, you have a warning now, is that at some point during episode 108, Frieza will betray Universe 7 and join up with Frost and they have some kind of master plan. Now, the thing about this spoiler, now I posted this video before that spoiler actually came out, but it still applies because I still have a weird feeling that that spoiler, because there's no mention of Frieza in the episode after that spoilers, I have a weird feeling that this betrayal is just a setup and that Frieza may be setting up Frost or vice versa. So today's question is, will Frost in the future, does it have to be next week or even next month, at some point in the future, will Frost betray Frieza or will Frieza betray Frost? And I asked everybody to tell us if you think it'll happen how and why so we're gonna do first come first serve as always i cannot reply to all 344 comments let's do it austin hunts i think frieza will betray frost um viabov gualani i'm sorry if i messed up your name man i think frost will betray frieza since frieza has been in dragon ball for a long time and frost is like the young talent who needs to get put over well maybe but frieza also has a lot more equity and he also has a bigger draw so good point but nonetheless and that made a joke there about wrestling alexander para or maybe it's para Frieza is an emperor, Frost the pirate, you tell me. That's a pretty good response there. Nick Bowman, well, Frost is a businessman, bro, and that's one thing that I believe, um, yeah, Spencer right here mentions that to him. He's not a pirate. He does things that pirates would do. In some ways, they're both pirates, really, but they're also very shrewd land sharks. Nick Bowman, Frieza will betray Frost and betray Universe 7 in a double act. Well, you, you kind of called that one, but maybe you got it backwards in that... Frieza would betray Universe 7, then betray Frost. Because I just... The reason why I think Frieza is not going to stay betrayed to Universe 7 is because he realizes that if he irritates Beerus or if he joins up with Universe 6, that he may not get a chance to be revived. You know, he, he unless he actually thinks he can get those Super Dragon Balls. I mean, if he actually believes that, then maybe. It just seems a little far-fetched that he would actually betray Universe 7 to join up with Frost, even though Frost might be a lot like him. But maybe not. I mean, again, we don't really know. Danny Chris Holmes says Frost screwed Frost. <laughs> That's a there's a wrestling reference from 20 years ago. Uh, and Driha Meeks says Frost will betray Frieza, but Frieza will get his ass. I do believe that as well. If Frost does betray Frieza, I can totally see Frieza getting revenge. But then of course I wonder, you know, does Frieza have a golden form? I'm sorry, obviously he does. Does Frost have a, a further evolution, a golden form at this point? And if they are buddies, is Frieza going to teach him how to do it? I don't know if there's enough time for that in the tournament but it'll be interesting to see if frost did train you know in the previous you know time i guess coming up to this thing jeremy garrett says uh frost betrays frieza but frieza will come out on top yeah very similar to what um andreha said james gerard i think frost betrays frieza first thinks he's eliminated then frieza puts the smack down on him and has a tournament first kill eliminating them both that's a pretty good scenario there i actually kind of like that idea where yeah, Frieza gets mad and goes so far as to kill Frost for his betrayal, and then they're both eliminated. So maybe he'll, um, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe Frost will, like, do, like, a thing where he thinks he got Frieza out, but he really did, and then Frieza gets revenge. That would be such a funny scenario, though, because poor Frost just can't catch a break, this guy. But then again, he's a prick, so, I mean, he kind of deserves it, right? Navid Mahmoud, I think both will betray each other, and that would be so funny. I, that could happen. I mean, again, the whole thing is that can these guys really get along? I mean, you would think they could, but can they really if they're both so freaking selfish? Kevin Burkana says they'll betray each other. That's the nature of their species. Frieza will win, though, because he's stronger. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the consensus with a lot of people. Chris Pananen, if I messed your name up, please forgive me. I really, I'm, I'm not good with, with some names. I apologize. Frieza, it, it might be Pananen, whichever one, I'm sorry. Frieza will betray Frost only because that's his nature. Well, <clears throat> Frost is also a cheat. Don't forget that. Frieza only cares about one being, and that's himself. That That's true. He wants to be the ultimate ruler over everyone. On the how part, I think Frieza will ask for Frost's help with, the, with someone, and they will eliminate that person. That's when Frieza will strike. Yeah. 
Yeah, they could do the thing where they, they try to take out one guy, and then Frost kind of does get him out, and then when Frost's back is turned, Frieza kicks him or something, or maybe vice versa. Vinit um, <clears throat> says they'll betray each other and then laugh about it after. I don't know if they'll laugh about it after, man. I I mean, I could see maybe way after, but this is the, the sake of the tournament here. If both universes survive, I could see that, but otherwise, they're going to be kind of mad at each other. But I do think it could happen later on. Benjamin Reed says, potentially Frost. Frieza will then destroy him, or Frieza will betray and destroy Frost anyway. Don't see Frieza being allies with anyone in this tournament. So, um, yeah, I don't either. Um, even though I would like to see a Goku and Frieza team up at some point, I, I, I agree. I don't know if I see that coming. Michael Gale says, I think Frost will betray Frieza. I believe Frost isn't messing around trying to have fun like Frieza. Well, we know from the spoilers that uh, Frost was told by the Supreme Kai of Universe 6 to take it seriously and he'll help him rebuild his business. So if Frost really cares about his business, then there you go. Uh, even though, again, his business is quite shady. you know. But I guess when it comes to universal survival, I don't think the gods really care about shadiness in this instance. You know what I mean? Anthony Banasiak says, Frost will try to betray him, but Frieza will get him back. That, that seems to be a lot of people's opinion. Greg Crockett says, I think Frieza will betray Frost, but in a twist, the story writers will give Frost the victory between the two. See, that's interesting. That's backwards. See, most folks are saying that Frost will betray Frieza, and then Frieza will get his revenge, but Greg is saying, okay, they're going to flip it on us, and they're going to say that Frost is going to get betrayed and then somehow give them the victory. Obviously, when it comes to power, Frieza's vastly superior to Frost, but then again, this tournament is not all about power. If Frieza makes one mistake... Frost might eliminate him, and that's going to be the end of Frieza. You never know. Plus, don't forget that Zeno has been known recently to change the rules. So what if he actually allows the poison needle? I don't think Frieza, I'm sorry, I don't think Frost is bringing it because they had that episode with Hit where he just threw it away. But you never know. You never know. I don't think he is, though, but you never know. It's just a possible scenario. Javiel Hernandez says, I don't know about you guys. You ever thought that Frieza might be the one betraying Vegeta? Well, actually, that could happen. Um, We know that... Based on the spoilers, he's going to betray somebody. It's not Vegeta. I'm not going to get into who it is on this video because some people don't want to be fully spoiled. But he is going to betray Universe 7. Or, but again, is he going to stay betrayed or is it just a, a double? Is, is it a double cross? Is he going to end up screwing Frost over? Uh, and here it is. Actually, Michael K. right here says Frost thinks he's betraying Frieza. But Frieza's ultimately going to be one step ahead of him. Which, again, that makes sense. But people, you know, I think that because Frieza's been around for so long... I think a lot of us as fans assume that he is more cunning and more, you know, devilish, I guess, than Frost. But I don't know if that's the case, man. I I think people are underestimating just how much of a uh, sinister, you know, how many sinister thoughts Frost has. I really think that people are underestimating that, and you know, you never know. But who knows? I mean, maybe Frost, you know, remember, they have their own universe going on. They have their own thing, you know. Anthony Castillo writes, Frieza betrays Frost hands down. Frost would be stupid to betray Frieza as Frieza has no mercy and won't hesitate to kill anyone or anything. In this tournament, he might though, but I see your point. Frost is a fugitive and likely a pawn in Frieza's game of chess. I love this. I love what he's saying right now. And while Frost tries to attack Vegeta and fails, Frieza would just put a death beam through him and come close to killing him. I mean, you could put a death beam through somebody's body and not really kill them if you hit them in the right spot if you avoid all the vital organs so i mean that is possible now i like what stefan says here stefan paskey he says frost will attempt to defect to save himself frieza will allow it before killing frost once it's no longer convenient see it's funny because it seems like what frieza is doing but interesting reverse you know let's see uh austin long says frieza will betray frost because Frieza will see Frost as a weakling compared to him and will find it disgraceful to their kind. Yeah? Brandon Skiparochi. Yes, I think it's how you say his last name. I believe Frieza will betray Frost because Frieza don't hide the fact that he's an asshole. Uh, I don't think care where as Frost is hiding his, wick his wickedness. Yeah, Frost seems to be a bit more covert about his, you know, his wickedness. But I can tell you that... In the previous episodes in the Universe 6 arc, you know, he got caught. So I'm pretty sure everybody, at least the gods and Team Universe 7 and 6 who were there, at least they know Frost is, a, is you know, a cunning, you know, slimeball. You know, they know that already, you know what I mean? 
Uh, let's see. Justin Taylor says they betray each other at the same time just before Goku fights Jiren. He might have hit that prognostication spot on. You know what I mean? He might have gone with it. Then Patrick here says, that I feel Frieza betraying Frost too predictable, so I'm going with Frost betraying Frieza. Actually, again, you would think that it'd be Frost doing the betrayal because he's the more cunning guy, but you're right. I mean, it could be either one. The, Frank says they betray each other at the same time, resulting in a double elimination. How would that work, though? Like, how would they actually double eliminate themselves if they're betraying? Is it just going to, like, you know, grab each other and throw each other out? Like, how's that going to work? I mean, I guess it could work that way. Don Shea King says Frieza will betray Frost because Frieza is more superior to Frost in power, and Frieza will realize that and take advantage. Or maybe Frost can try to turn off Frieza, but it'll be ineffective. Shivang Kapoor, Frieza will betray Frost because he'll see that Frost is a disgrace to the Frieza race as he is very weak. Plus, in the end, Frieza might turn out to be a good guy. So, let's see here. Brandon Curry, Frieza will betray Frost. Once Frieza gets what he wants from Frost, he'll be of no use to him. All hail Lord Frieza. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. Um, Ellie says, I feel Frost would try some shit first, but either way, Frieza will prevail. Yeah, that, again, that seems to be a very common opinion here from everybody. Natron Lambert, or Lambert, but I think it's Lambert. Um, of course, Frieza will betray Frost. Let's forget the plan he had before the tournament started. Anything can happen, really. Yeah, he wants to be the Omni King, but how is he going to overthrow the Omni King? Like, How can he actually get that level of power when the Omni King can blink and wipe out a universe? I don't know. I don't know. Couple more and we're gonna get out of here, okay? EJ Fitzgerald, I think Frost will try to betray Frieza and then Frieza will be like, this isn't even my final form, bra, and go golden and murder Frost and Zeno will be like, that's cool and everyone can kill now. That is brilliant, that could happen. That could totally happen. I love it from EJ here, That that's perfect, dude. Joey Gonzalez, Frost will probably underestimate Frieza and betray him, then gets eliminated by Frieza. Seems to be the consensus. I like EJ's thing about how if he goes golden and kills Frost, and then Zeno's like, hey, let's just allow killing. That would be a great like reason for him to allow killing, you know. Kevin James, maybe they'll both eliminate, they'll both betray each other. They'll most likely both have ulterior motives, and once they figure it out, they'll turn on each other. It's their nature to be like that. So, Frieza will betray Frost. His character has shown to be much more egocentric and individualistic than Frost. Frost uses others for his benefit and success. Frieza just has others because he's lazy and doesn't really need them. I mean, they, they're they both kind of doing the same thing, but I do agree with you that Frieza does to do more work than Frost. That much is for sure. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, leave a comment and give us your thoughts here on YouTube about what you think about this topic. Who betrays who, Frieza and Frost? Obviously, I think Frieza is more powerful, but you never know what Frost may have up his sleeve. And thank you, as always, for your support of the channel. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you all later.